In her opening remarks to the House, Speaker Rebecca Kadaga faulted the executive for the losses and suffering that several people underwent countrywide as the government maintained the May 19th deadline on SIM card verification and ordered that all unregistered SIM cards be switched off. Kadaga says as the legislature, the executive should listen to parliament's voice. I just want to really advise the executive to read the mood of the public and the parliament and act in the interest of our, our people. If you are decent, I think the disruptions of this weekend would not have occurred. People have lost money. The telecom companies have lost money. URA has lost money. Other people have suffered. People have been out of touch. During the heated debate, some members of parliament urged the speaker to recommend strong action against Tumwebaze as a warning to other ministers not to disregard the opinion of parliament. I want to be advised on whether we, how we proceed, if we are going to be taking decisions, making resolutions that somebody says, a minister and, and, and one of us says, I just, uh, we are just advising, we are just advisors, and we have no authority, and uh, we cannot influence anything. My dear friends, uh, we might get more words uh, out, but I know the president of Uganda, whom I have seen, and some of you working with him have not learned him. He measures whatever you do. He might tell you this particular incident, but we face him later on. The leader of the opposition in parliament, Winnie Kiza, said the minister must make a public apology. That the minister comes up here with a public apology for irresponsibly rebuking the powers of parliament and for taking parliament for granted. So that in future we can know that we are a people's representative, we are a house that takes decisions on behalf of the Ugandan people. When given an opportunity to defend his decision to ignore Parliament's resolution on Thursday last week calling for the extension of the SIM card registration deadline, ICT Minister Frank Tumebaze informed the House he was performing his duties. The person here was tasked to communicate. Madam Speaker, I take responsibility for communicating a government position because that's the work I was given. If that angered this house, I take responsibility and I apologize for that. But the phones are still not on. The phones are still not on. Tumweva's fate still lies in the hands of Parliament's Committee on Rules and Discipline where he will be questioned why he defied the institution. I want to ask the Rules Committee to listen to the recording, read what was said, and, and advise us, so that we know how to move on the issue of what I want to move on. Details of when the committee will meet is yet to be made public, but it may come days after the president backed the decision of NRM's parliamentary caucus that the SIM card verification deadline be extended to August 30th and that unregistered SIM cards be switched back on.